morning. It is an unseasonably warm weekend day here. Yeah, Northeast Ohio, and it's gonna be in the high 50s today. There is a chance of some like drizzle in that, but um, well, Dante's got his ball in the background. Um, I'm going to take advantage of this warmth because I still have not gotten the front porch decor done. Um, there were two things slowing me down on top of the weather though. Um, one, the treat box for the drivers. Uh, last year, well, two years, I just had it in like, um, an old wine crate bin and the squirrels were stealing the treats last year. And then I'd find wrappers all over the yard because there were like those peanut butter cracker things or whatever in there. And I think they liked them, which is fine. Um, but they can't be still on the treats because then the drivers didn't want them because they knew a critter had been in the food. So I had to find something that closed. So <clears throat> down in the basement, I found um, one of those old wooden toolboxes. It had been my grandpa's, I think. And um, I'm going to try that and see. It's got a class, like a latch thing to it. So I'll put a sign to let them know the treats are inside there. And then I'm going to use the... Um, tin like toolbox thing for to put the water in because it wouldn't both fit um that tin toolbox from Hobby Lobby that had been like I used it as a fruit basket on the kitchen counter so I think I'm going to use that for the water so we will see how the combination of that works out um the second thing stopping me aside from the treat box and the weather was taking my bushes out I hated those bushes in the summer and everything, but now I don't have any fresh greenery to cut to use on the sled or the garlands. Like I would cut pieces off of those bushes that were on the sides of the porch, but I put the urns there now, which do look much better, but now I don't have any fresh pine. And um, I know I probably could just go for forage it, um, but I don't really have time to go figure out where to go forage it from. So I am going to do something today that I haven't done in years, and that is go visit a live tree farm to get some um, bundles of pine and roping and things. And um, I think they have like gift shops and stuff there too. So I'm going to see and just experience the tree farm um, today and then come back and do the porches up. So... That is my plan to take advantage of this unseasonably warm Saturday in Northeast Ohio. And um, let me show you my outfit of the day. This is my outfit for the day. I'm just wearing um, a green cable knit sweater I've had forever. I think it was just from Penny's or something. Um, Vineyard Vine shirt underneath just to layer a little bit. I've got my G belt on, Gucci, and um, trusty can can jeans again a pair of those and um i'm gonna be festive we're going to the tree farm so i am going to wear this um tartan gilet over it and i'm going to take my gucci bag um i am not sure though what to do shoe wise i'm debating between the um Hunter Wellies that are always there in that Hunter Green um, because it might be muddy. I mean, I'm going to a tree farm. So I might need them because it's kind of, I don't know, dirt. It's a tree farm. It's a farm. I don't know. So I think I might need the Wellies, but I kind of want to wear riding boots. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do for shoes. I might wear the riding boots. See what it looks like. Take the wellies with me and change in the car if I have to. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because the wellies aren't the most comfortable to be walking around in all day if you don't have to be. Dante is loving this ball. He's so excited with the ball. I never saw a dog so excited with the ball. Um, yeah, so I'm going to wear riding boots. Take the wellies with me. And assess the situation when I get there. That's the plan. All right, Andy Amo.
from the tree farm in that, and I'm gonna do the porch. Um, I'm late getting this done. This was filmed probably before you're seeing it, but I'm still late getting it done. But um, yeah, I came in, I'll show you what I got to use, but um, I came in and made up my little treat bags first. Um, there's some candy in there, a candy cane, there's sandwich cracker things, and some like gummy snacks. So I can't put them out because the squirrel stole them last year. So I fixed up a box and then I couldn't find my sign. So I had to print out a new sign real quick um, to let them know that it's for them, like the thank you sign or whatever. And then I put a little note that the snacks were in the box and then I made another sign so that they shut the box um, because of the critter. So let me show you um, what I did. So this is the sign that I made up. I put my little note snacks were in the box and this is where I'm gonna put the water in I was using this in the kitchen um, it's a little mess behind there on the table I was fooling with this and I got a delivery but um I was using this as like a fruit thing in the kitchen but now I had it put away for the holidays so I'm gonna use it for the water and then over here is my little please shut box a squirrel in there and I lined it with wrapping paper but this is what I'm gonna put the um oh, guys that's what I'm gonna put the treats in um for them and then hopefully they shut the box so we'll take that out let me show you um what I got over at the tree farm though all right so I've got I just bought some branches I didn't buy roping I'm gonna tie this into the fake I think and um yeah tie the fresh in with the fake so gonna get started and get the porches decorated and I'll show you when I'm done okay, and here in the backyard I just took some of the excess that was left over and cut it into some of my pots that were things that died and I did my light post I mixed in um Again, faux with some of the real and the same ribbon that's out front. So I just kept that simple. Again, there's my back door. Just simple. I showed you that in the decor tour. Dante! Why are you barking at mommy? Why are you barking at mommy? Why? Sillies. All right, so I have finally gotten this done. It has been kind of warm, so a lot of my stuff is still living, like the cabbage and things, but yeah. I just stuck some um, branches of greenery into the urns with it, and then along here I put the um, garlands onto the little post. I've got to dig out some leaves here yet. On the bike, I just put a garland in there. Put some real in with faux on the arbor there. Didn't get a lot done because I'm late getting things done, but I'm working on it. Alright, here is my treats box that I've got showed you situated. They still can open it. Easy. Pillow cover I got last year at Sheen Home. My sled up. Some um, poinsettias and greenery stuck under the topiary. On this side, I tied some. Um, greenery in with the ribbon, stuck some faux plants in that pot, changed out my doormat, and I've got my throw blanket here, but yeah, simple. And I forgot when I did the home tour to show you the wreath on the front door. Traffic all of a sudden, um, but it's the same wreath I've had for several years that I had made. So that is it. I finally got that done. Um, 
the only thing that lights is like the lantern. I didn't put lights up. I just, I'm late doing it and I can't get up there and climb right now. And even though it's been nice out and stuff, I just, it's just too much trouble to worry about right now. And I'm still going for that less is more thing. So that includes like the outside and stuff too. So um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching Vlogmas and I'll see you tomorrow.